vision of President Donald Trump in bloody fight. That's the title of the message. Vision of President Donald Trump in bloody fight. To avoid telling stories, I'll just read the message as it is. It says Christians, intercessors, and all people of goodwill really need to pray for President Donald J. Trump. 2020 is a critical year for him. We know through the Spirit of God that the promise of the Lord for him is that he gets a second term, that is the next four years as well. I saw in a vision a wrestling match between him and his opponent or rival in politics. He was badly wounded in the face and other parts of the body. His rival was being helped by many people and demonic forces which were outside the ring. The Spirit of God says we need to pray so that the President of the U.S. will not yield to temptation to enact decisions which are contrary to the perfect will of God for him in the unique situations that he finds himself in. In the United States of America and other parts of the world, Christian intercessors will have to double, triple, quadruple, quintuple, and even many times over, increase their prayer and fasting effort for him regularly. Why? Because in the realms of the spirit, the battle at the present moment is tilted heavily against him. The people energized by darkness against this president are having an upper hand. Why? Because the Christian intercessory effort is not as yet watertight as it was when he was elected for the first time. The Holy Spirit says, though the promises of God are yea and amen according to scripture in Christ Jesus for us as the saints, we still need to play our part for those promises to crystallize in our life by the power of God. Very few of God's promises to human beings or even institutions are unconditional. Why? Because God, the Father, when he created us at the beginning, he gave us a free will. That is, the ability to choose and make our own decisions. We as intercessors must occupy our positions of prayer warfare and help secure the U.S. president. Why? Because this will advance the cause of the gospel and enhance the protection of Israel. Of the two candidates that will be standing, two main candidates that will be standing in November, he's the only one that we see in the realms of the spirit who is standing for the church and the nation of Israel. Which is why we are making this call by the Spirit of God for intercessors to rise up. Just like Aaron, just like Moses, Aaron, and her, Moses, Aaron, and her didn't wait for Joshua and his armies to defeat the Amalekites on their own. They went up the hill to occupy the position of intercession. So we must occupy our position.